Some people say you have to do SEO. Some people say you have to do paid advertising. Which one is better? You know what? Not only am I gonna go over that today, but the answer is not what you're gonna expect. Hey everyone, I'm Neil Patel, and today I'm gonna go over the difference between paid advertising and SEO. Which one's better? Which one sucks? Why should you be leveraging any of them? If you want more videos like this, make sure you subscribe to this channel. That way as I publish more content like this, you'll get notified. So let's get started with paid advertising. There's four main pros of paid advertising. One, it can scale up as quick as you want. As you're willing to spend more money, you get more traffic. You start a paid advertising campaign, you get that traffic today. Two, you can target any region that you want. With paid advertising, if you only do business in California, you can only do ads just in California. If you do business in a specific city, you can also have your ads only show up within that city. That's a beautiful part about paid advertising. Three, you can leverage day parting. Day parting isn't common. Most people aren't familiar with this and they're not using this. But if your business is only around from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. and let's say you're in the B2B industry and you're looking for phone calls, why would you wanna pay for ads at 6 p.m.? Because if someone comes to your website and they try calling you, no one's gonna be there to answer it. With day parting, it allows you to pick what hours you want your ads to show up. The last thing you wanna do is be spending money during times that you're not in business. The fourth thing, and this is my favorite part about paid ads, is you can be very aggressive with your landing pages. With SEO, typically pages that rank on the top of Google are very long in content and they have roughly 2,000 words. With pay-per-click, if your landing page has 2,000 words, people aren't really gonna convert into a customer or a lead or a sale. They're probably gonna read your content. That's not what you want, you want them to buy. And that's the beauty of pay-per-click. You can have a very aggressive landing page that focuses on your service, your offer, your product, and you can get people to convert much higher from a percentage of how many visitors you gain to how many customers than you can from SEO. Now, before I get into the advantages of SEO, if any of you guys leverage paid advertising, just leave a comment below with yes. I'm just curious to see how many of you guys are spending money on paid ads. With SEO, there's a few advantages. One, even if you slow down on SEO, you can keep getting more traffic over time. That's a beautiful part. With paid advertising, the moment you stop, so does your traffic. With SEO, if you slow down, all that traffic that you've built up doesn't go away. You can still maintain it and get it. Two, SEO traffic is free. And here's what I mean by free. Yes, it does take time or energy or you may have to pay some people to help with link building or content, but it's free because it's so much cheaper. And in general, you can do SEO yourself. You don't have to pay an agency or a firm to help you with SEO. You can learn it yourself, you can do it yourself, and over time you'll notice that your traffic goes up. And the third big benefit is, majority of people when they perform a search, click on the organic listings. If you disagree with that, leave a comment and say no. And I know most of you aren't gonna disagree because the data shows the majority of the traffic goes to organic listings over paid listings. Now, you're probably wondering which one should you do? Well, with pay-per-click, you'll find that you can scale up and down much quicker. With SEO, it takes a lot longer. With paid advertising, you can control the type of audience that comes to your landing page. With SEO, you can't. You pretty much get a mix of everything. It could be certain people from the United States, specific city that you may not be uh, selling your services in. It could be in Canada, if you're not operating in Canada or India, whatever region it may be. You can't necessarily control that as closely as you can with pay-per-click. Also with SEO traffic, it's not guaranteed. Algorithms can slap you. Once you're doing well, that traffic doesn't always last. Yes, you can maintain a portion of it, but it may go up or down and you could get slapped from the algorithm. And yet with paid advertising, you can get pulled away as well and slapped, but it's very rare because you're giving them money. You'll also find that paid scales really easily while SEO takes a lot of time. With SEO, you gotta write a lot of content, either yourself or you gotta hire writers or contractors, whatever it may be. And even when you do that, you won't see the results right away. It can take three to six months before you see some results, but it usually takes over a year before the results start kicking in. 
So now let's go to the ultimate question. Is it SEO or is it paid? Which one should you be leveraging? Well, the answer is both. If they're both profitable, why wouldn't you leverage them? If paid advertising is profitable, that means SEO for sure is gonna be profitable. You wanna leverage not only paid and SEO, you wanna be leveraging any marketing channel that's profitable and works that you can keep scaling. So when people say, oh, SEO is better or paid advertising better, it doesn't really matter. Leverage all the channels that are profitable for your business. Back in the day, you could just leverage SEO and build a business, or you could just leverage paid. But now there's so many businesses popping online, it's so competitive that you have no choice but to leverage all the channels out there. From Google AdWords, to Facebook ads, to SEO, to content marketing, to social media marketing, to email marketing, to push notifications, the list keeps going on and on. That's the only way you're gonna succeed is if you have an omni-channel approach in which you're leveraging all the channels. So now you have it. Which one's better? It doesn't matter. You wanna leverage all of them. If you found this video interesting, make sure you like it, make sure you share it, tell other people about it, or if you have any questions on paid or SEO or any marketing related questions, leave a comment below. Make sure you subscribe and thank you for watching.